Welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you stopped by today because I have some really fun Christmas and July projects to share with you. These um, projects are for a hop that I am participating in. It's a Christmas in July YouTube hop. It's being hosted by Tina Marie. She's um, Miss Evely here on YouTube. And I will link her and all of the participants down below. Um, so I do want to mention to you that I am running really late with a swap because my swap partner lives in Switzerland so I should have sent this out a long time ago because I, I really don't know how long it'll take for her to receive it. Um, so if this is the day of the hop, the reason that I am post a project share video instead of an unboxing video is because I let Faithy, who is my swap partner, know that I am mailing out today and she's like, oh my goodness, I haven't even finished. I'm like, don't worry about it. I'm going to record a project share video and, you know, if for some reason we don't receive each other's packages, we can just share um, our project share videos uh, on the day of the hop and then you know once we receive our packages of course we'll we'll post an unboxing video so just to give you a little background on what's going on over here um, so let's get right to it I decided to use the snow and cocoa um, paper collection I absolutely love that Christmas collection so much um, by the time I started Happy Mail, I think it was already like, it had already been out for a while. So um, I have always only found bits and pieces here and there. Um, and so I don't have the full collection. And at this point, I have very, very little. But I was able to incorporate some other crepe paper collections. And I even added some doodle bug. Um, and so I, I think it all came, it worked out. It, it all looks so super cute. I love the pinks and the yellows and the golds. Um, so this is what I will be, let's start with the card. I received this envelope in some happy mail and I just added this um, snow and cocoa acetate piece, so much fun. And then this ephemera right here. And then this is one of the um, snow and cocoa cards. I picked this up at Tuesday morning. So that will be my card. This right here is a rosette kit. So the only requirement for our swap was that we, the size of the box. Um, so Tina uh, recommended that we use, you know, a box that's similar to the size of a shoe box, just to make it easy for everybody um, and, and challenging. Cause you know, we, want to make everything so bulky and thick and layered um so it was really quite a bit of a challenge but anyway um so faithy and i discussed what we were going to swap and it, we really did a sender's choice so the only requirement is that we send it in a small box um so because of that i have tried to keep everything really flat and um not so layered so um again this is a rosette kit instead of you know embellishing all of the rosettes i just added some eyelash trim to this and a little ephemera piece and then in this box i have included some rosettes using different color paper that um you know goes or goes well with the snow and cocoa collection and then I also included some eyelash trim and some ephemera pieces so that I think is super cute I really love these colors so much that's so adorable and then here I made this little Christmas box this is using the I can't remember what paper collection this is. I think it's Hey Santa. <laughs> um, and this is a flower that I purchased from Lori. I absolutely love it. And I just glued that on the top. And then in here we have this cute little reindeer puff ball keychain. I think he's so cute. It's a little um, Rudolph puff ball keychain. And here I have some gorgeous beads. I love these colors, these pastel colors. There's some crystals in there and lots and lots of pearls and then just some eyelash trim. 
in this little light bulb ornament. So super cute. And then here I have this um, sequin mix. I used some ephemera that was sent to me, I believe by my friend Alondra. Um, I met her last summer in my giveaway and I think these are items that she sent me in that um, giveaway. So this is a container that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I just added that again, keeping everything very flat and then um, a whole bunch of really cute sequins and stars and all kinds of things in there. Really, really pretty. Um, and then that is going to go in this bag right here, which I received in a Halloween swap, but I kept it because I loved the print on it. And I think it goes well with the Snow and Coco collection. I just um, added these stickers on here that say Merry Christmas and this flower right here, this poinsettia. I want to say that Alondra sent me that poinsettia also. And I just think it's so darling. And this summer, you guys, I have been all about using up all those things that I have been hoarding. All those items that have been sent to me or items that I've bought and that I, you know, don't want to use up because it's the last of it. I'm using it this summer. I am, my craft space is so small and I'm running out of space. So I really need to stop hoarding everything. So that's what this summer is all about. I have this little um, tool bag or organza bag right here. It has some gold foiled stars on there. I think they're so cute. Love it, love it, love it. So in here, I have this little spool and I'm gonna send some trim in here. I don't really like, I feel like these colors look so plain together. So I don't know, I might change up the trim. Um, and I just added some Snow and Cocoa Ephemera to the top and this little dangle right here to the center. So, and then here I have some um, handmade flag embellishments super cute and I just reused um, some Snow and Cocoa packaging and I just have a little charm on all of them or a little bell. So um, these are so fun to make. And then in here and again very very flat. <laughs> flat is the name of the game for this swap. So here I um, wanted to send her some bows. I mean, you know, Christmas is all about the bows. So I cut a whole bunch out for her um, and in different papers and just tied them together so that she can put those together. And I just put an example of one right here and reuse some packaging. Um, and then here we have this little pillow box I used. This is a doodle bug um, collection. I have a Hey Santa tassel on here. I have this cute little snow and cocoa rosette. I think he is adorable. It says the wonders of winter. And then inside here I have these four um, tags with this cute trim or ribbon on them. They're all exactly the same, but I figure she can use those on gifts um, for Christmas or Happy Meal. And then I have some Christmas themed charms and some buttons. I received these buttons in my giveaway last year also, and they are just so darling. So I sent three of them <laughs> and then two of these little bottle cap um, pieces. So that is what is in here. Isn't, aren't those colors so pretty? They're so bright and cheery. Um, and then what do we have next? Next we have this cosmetic bag right here. I love these cosmetic bags from Dollar Tree. So in here, I decided to send a few of my favorite items from Dollar Tree. Um, so I have, let me show you what is in here. 
I'm going into a little more detail just because, like I mentioned, I don't know if on the day of the hop, this is going to be my video <laughs> or if I'm going to actually have an unboxing video. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go into detail. Okay. So it's this cosmetic bag. I am sending some of these awesome pokey tools from Dollar Tree. I love these pokey tools. This is, um, what I put inside the bag to embellish it. I did think of um, using double-sided tape to to place it on the front but I don't want to mess this up I want her to I want my partner to be able to reuse it so I just stuck it in the front then I have these fun Dollar Tree stickers aren't they so cute I can't believe they're from Dollar Tree they're so awesome these are one of my favorite tools from Dollar Tree, these finger protectors. So I had to include some of those. And then I have these awesome little glass jars. I love these so much. And some of these teeny tiny um, gold base filler foam balls. So that's what's going in there. And then I also included um, this novelty pin because you guys, I have a real love for novelty pins and sometimes Dollar Tree has really cute ones. I think this one is so cute. Look, has little crystals in there. Isn't that adorable? And then the color is just so cute. Okay, so that's what's in here. And then I had just added some shred and I'm still gonna gift wrap some of these items so I'll just package it up again when I am done filming this then here I have another Dollar Tree cosmetic bag isn't it adorable and I think it goes really well with the snow and cocoa collection it just says yay 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 <laughs> um, and in here I have some fun goodies from my Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio Kits. Um, and I just thought it would be so fun to share these with Faithy because I know that she mentioned to me that there are a lot of items that we, um, you know, have access to that she doesn't have access to since she lives in Switzerland. So I sent her these because I think these colors match so well with the Snow and Cocoa collection. I sent her these sequin packs, which are adorable, love, love, love. So I have all of these colors right here. I tried to match them as much as possible to the papers that I'm using. So those will go in there. I sent some of these fun clay bits. Aren't they so cute? I um, ended up ordering some and then I got some in my kit so I thought I would share those with her since I have some of those also and then look at these gorgeous bows aren't they so cute I love these bows and I thought it would be fun to share those with her also so this is like a sample creative mojo <laughs> kit um, super cute that's gonna go in there and what else I have this book right here that I created for her um, and yes you guys this is all gonna go in a shoe box can you believe that this is insane okay so this is the book right here Again, I mixed some collections together, some Hey Santa, some Snow and Coco. This is I fussy cut out of a Michaels paper pad. I added these gorgeous beads to it, um, just three beads, and did some paper, um, some ripped paper on the spine, and this has some of that Dollar Tree tool on it. And so it opens up just like this and in here we have this little box I love this girl isn't she so fun it's a sleigh list her socks are hanging off and um, 
again, I, I fussy cut this out of that same Michaels paper pad. I added this hot cocoa and fuzzy socks. And then there's some just fun goodies in here. Um, some that I've received in Happy Meal, like Tina Marie, I think was the one that sent me these. And I think they are so adorable, you guys. And I never used them. Um, because I was hoarding them. So I just thought it would be so nice to share some of these goodies with um, Faithy. And then in here we have, it just says cozy right here on the spine. It has this little bow on here. And then I have these little boxes. Um, they have, again, very flat. And so in here I have some bells and some of those bits and pieces from Joann's that look like little cookie cutters. I think you can pick these up in the button section at Joann's. And then I have some fun shaped paper clips because I love those so much. Um, and I just added this little ribbon. I just um, stapled it to the box so that she can open it up easily. Um, and then in here we have some wood, um, what are, I forgot what these are called. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. But anyway, those are just really fun wood pieces for her to use on, on her projects. Um, let me close this up a little bit. I shared a lot of items that I have received in the mail. These are some Christmas trees from Tuesday morning. I love these colors, so I thought it would be fun to share those with her. Um, I tried to put as much as I could in these little boxes. I have some of these Tim Holtz deers, some fun pom-poms, some snowflakes, some star beads. Um, what else? Oh, these gorgeous... Um, snowflakes right here aren't those so pretty Tina also send those to me I love them so much those are so gorgeous so I, I shared a few of those with her <laughs> with Faithy and those go no I can't close it those go right in there I think I stuffed these too much okay I'll close that later because I can't seem to right now. And then this large box right here, or a longer box right here, just has a whole bunch of bows. Um, some that I purchased, some that I received in Happy Mail. Um, and I think I made a few of the little ones also. So really cute, cute things. I hope Faithy loves all of these things. Like I said, she mentioned to me that it's not easy for her to get all of the um, craft supplies that we um, seem to get. So I really, really wanted to share some goodies, a lot of store-bought goodies with her. Um, so here I have some snow and cocoa um, goodie bags and I have created it's kind of like another kit for her because like I mentioned we're sending this in a shoe box um, so I created this um, bag topper right here just as a sample for her I think it's so cute I love how chunky it is I love this Christmas tree um, it's a Christmas tree pick that Tina Marie sent me and I just, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Um, so I used a doily and then, um, a die cut to make it sturdy. Um, I put a layer on the inside and a layer on the outside of cardstock, stitched that together. And so that's an example of... I put that on the top so that she can see what I did with these um, and she can do the same if she'd like it's just to give her an idea of what she can do so I made one for each one of the bags that I'm sending her I put these upside down so that um, they wouldn't be so bulky um, so these are four that I sent her and then 
this bag um, is meant to go with this bag topper and I just think that is so adorable. I love, 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 love these. So um, again, I just did some layering and stitching and that will be a little bag topper kit for her. Um, let's see. Then right here, I received this in some Happy Mail also, and I think it's from Alondra as well. Um, I think this is the package that she sent me all those little goodies in, or maybe, the, okay, well, either way, I received this from Alondra, and so I just used what was on inside this package, and I, I am sending Faithy a um, Christmas themed bead dangle that I made I think last summer also <laughs> but I think it's so cute and I thought it would be perfect for this swap I'm also sending her some snow and cocoa cards there's just a few I think I just have like four or five in here with the envelopes um, and then finally um, I will also be sending her these right here like I said she mentioned that she doesn't have access to a lot of the collections that we get so I had this um, heritage collection and it's a paper pad some stickers I, I don't know if I have ephemera in here it might just be stickers and I think it might have ephemera and these cute butterflies and I had this in my stash so I thought I'd send that to her and then I also had this from last year that I didn't use, so I thought I would share that with her. Um, this is the Hey Santa, it's a paper pad stickers and the um, photo frames. And I think there might be ephemera in there also. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, now I don't remember. But anyway, so I'm going to be um, wrapping these items for her this is i'm sorry i keep hitting my phone stand this is the um shoe box that i will be using so i zoomed out a little bit this is a pretty large shoe box um and so in here i have decorated the top part of it i just added some paper from that Michaels paper pad. It says Merry Christmas. And here I just put Christmas in July. This These colors kind of remind me of the 4th of July. Um, I guess that was on my mind and that's why I use these colors. I'm not sure. Um, but so that's what it's going to look like on the inside. I'm still not sure how I'm going to cover up all of this orange, but I will be um, gift wrapping some of these items that I've showed you. I have some tissue paper, some trim. I have some fun um, shred to send. I love this shred. I love these colors. I think they're so pretty with the gold and everything. And then maybe I'll add some of this paper confetti. And so yeah, guys, this is what I am going to be sending Faithy. I also have some um, gift uh, this gift wrap book that I think maybe will come in handy to wrap some of the gifts that I'm going to be sending I think it's so fun to be able to unwrap everything um so stay tuned hopefully our packages get to each other on time but if they don't thank you so much for your patience and I will make sure to share her um her swap as soon as I receive it if I haven't already. So again, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to check out everybody in the hop and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.